Hi and welcome back. Um, decided to make a video on this product called Aomi Becca Upper, and um, today is the 25th March 2013. And the reason is because I've been using ESAs, which uh, it's been pretty good, but then there have been updates and there are sort of tendency towards the free, although it's still free, towards the um, the paid version. So I thought I'd try another free version. Uh, and uh, see how that works. I did try this product before and they did ask me to make a video but it didn't work so I didn't bother making it but having seen the videos and tested it I thought I'll, I'll uh, go ahead and do it. So here goes. Um, the They've got uh, this version which is for Windows 7 and I've got Windows 7 uh, so 32-bit uh, so we'll see how that uh, goes and there's a difference uh, which is explained here now which makes sense because when I did it first it, it wouldn't work so as you can see it says the 14 megabyte version only supports Windows 7, 8, 2008 etc and the 52 megabyte download uh, only, not only supports the first one the 7, 8, Windows 7, 8 and 2008 as you can see uh, also supports XP and Vista so uh, I've already downloaded this one and you can download them from here uh, the backer upper version 1.1 so at the time of making this video there's uh, the XP version 52 megabyte you can do it local or from download uh, from CNET and uh, this one which is the Windows 7 one which is the one I'm going to be doing for now um, I have tested it but it's still uh, niggly with the 52 on the XP laptop so didn't make a video until it's um, ironed out so here we go so you when you click on this you, you're taken to the uh, download uh, website and you can download it from here as you can see 14 megabyte that's a key bit free and it's fairly new and it's for Windows 7 and um, on their website they've got uh, the partition assistant as well and the backup uh, so we concentrate on this one for, for now and they do other products as well right so let's cl close this one um, you'll have to bear with me because um, this is from scratch and I have got my uh, external USB uh, uh, docking station ready for the terabyte disk which I've got on my machine so there is the download let's install it It's going to ask me for a password, obviously. Uh, the admin password, because I'm logged in as user. And go through all the usual steps, accept the agreement, and um, files. Leave it as that. And go for it. I've already made a clone and backed up before I did this in case things go wrong. So I, I've already made a clone with ESUS, uh, the tried and tested one. And uh, so that is always must. You must do a backup before you do anything like this in case things go wrong and then you've lost everything or you can't put it back. So let's finish that and uh, close that and uh, right now we need to open the program but it's there and uh, click on that double click on that ask for the uh, admin password and um, you, to restore it obviously you'll have to make a uh, boot disk so that's what it looks like I'm sure you've seen other videos on this uh, product, but this is my first attempt at this. Uh, close that one. Right, so uh, you've got the create a new backup, you've got the settings there, and um, it tells you the, the version and if there's another one, and you can check for updates, tutorials, etc. Backup is this backup, partition backup, and system. I'm going to do this one for now. Uh, actually, I'll clone my terabyte. That's right, I'll do a clone instead of that. Uh, then this is how you restore it. 
and the difference between this software and ESIS is this one has um, a capability of putting a password encryption so I'm going to test that out as well and then this is where you make your um, boot disk uh, which worked on the XP but it didn't restore it for some reason so right now that we've done that I'm gonna to have to pause this video uh, I'm gonna now start the uh, um, was that my USB drive is now kicking in and it's got the uh, USB terabyte drive and it's got the um, there it goes one partition and second right so now I'm going to clone it so I'm click on this clone and there's the two partitions I have I, I don't know what these are these, these were they came with the Dell machine when I bought it so I'll do everything as it is and then click next and um, click next oh. right when this happens this software is this is the reason I didn't make a video with this software so you have to reload it and then this this is what happens refreshes it because I've just installed now you can see the other partition so if you do get that problem just do reload or refresh right now that's the one I want to clone the source one and that's the destination which is the uh, everything that's the two partition that came kicked in when I put the USB with the power and USB connection so let's go ahead uh, it's saying select the source so this okay so there you go I selected it now and then this goes orange and you go next and then it says select the destination so that's the destination make sure it's the right one and there may be a boot system or partition on this ignore that so we know that we, we know we want to wipe that so make sure it's the right one otherwise you lose everything okay this could exist on the um, the one you're gonna the target disk basically so click next so it's gonna wipe everything after performing the operation the existing partition in the disk will be overwritten or deleted so we suggest you back up them first if there's any important data usual stuff so are you sure again yeah which is good now it also I think there should be options but it, this one doesn't give you the option ah splitting no it doesn't actually okay it does in the XP you can actually put um, I can start again really so click next I was looking for where to put the password but we'll leave that so it's the source is that and it's going to the destination which is that okay so let's double check everything is fine so start clone and now I'm gonna pause the video because what it's gonna do is initialize check the volumes before it starts um, cloning <laughs> and and then if you do it overnight the, because the first clone was on a 500 gigabyte disk which was compressed it, that took about almost five four four to five hours <laughs> so um, I might have to pause the video and then restart uh, if you don't want to do that if you're doing it late at night and that's what you find that this is the problem then you can click this and shut the computer after the operations finished so it may be quick we don't know we'll see I doubt it because I've got a lot of stuff on it so it's saying analyzing 9% uh, so at this stage I'm gonna pause the video and carry on All right I started the uh, recording back to show you where the um, volume has been so far it's 99% right now it's uh, analyzed the volume and moving data so it's now actually moving data to the new target 
copying data, copying volume one and data. Uh, while this is going on, it's a good idea, actually, I should have mentioned that beginning uh, of the video, uh, to f go to your power saving features, which is that one, and then uh, um, make it high performance, i.e. change the plan so that it doesn't uh, shut down your hard disk or your computer to, to make you to go to sleep to save power settings, you know, this setting. So, so I, I normally select that one to uh, not go off, so it never puts the computer to sleep. Otherwise, <laughs> this operation may stop. So now it's moving, and um, what I will do is carry on, and I will uh, resume the video again at a later stage when it's reaching. Let's be staring at this all day. Quick recap and uh, just moved just over half, 36 of 30, 76 gigabytes, 32 percent. And uh, pause it again, so we'll take it from there. And just to recap, at this stage, 51 percent done and second volume started. Uh, moving data 12, as you can see, of 3 or 4. It's going to take a while, so I'll let you carry on. Right, carry on later. Pause this. Hi, I left it running overnight and seems to have uh, stopped and finished the clone 100%. And I didn't do that, so I'll just click finish and it reloads. And that's it, ready for another one. So there you go, that's how you clone a disk with uh, this. Uh, it also does uh, backup and you can do a system backup. Uh, and that, I think, allows you to give do the encryption with a password. So I won't do that now. And so same steps, you follow the system backup and then in the backup, it will tell you source directory target and then the backup options you get all this uh, ESIS doesn't do that anymore so that's it basically uh, leave that as it is I close that and um, thanks for watching hope you like the video